Hi, welcome to another episode of This Is Anything Goes. Today, we are going to calibrate the Project 360. Alright, a lot of you have been asking, how is it done? Let's get to it. Okay, now that the marking on the floor has been done, let me show you uh, how it's measured. The first thing you need to do, you need to measure the um, the perimeter of your car. So this is where the car at, um, starts all the way to the back here, as well as the other two sides as well. So you need to get the perimeter of the car. Then you need to make 160 by 120 cm boxes, which would be this. All right, so this is 160. 120, 160, 120. So you need to get a, uh, a middle line where your side cameras are. So what I did was pull it down, side camera here, 120 cm here, sorry, 100, sorry, 80 cm here, and 80 cm here. So this makes 160. Measure 120, and measure 120 on this side. Then we will have the 160 over here. All right. You might want to mark the distance between the perimeter to the box over here as well so that you can duplicate it on the other side. Then on the front, same thing, 160 cm by 120 box. Okay, again you need to center it so use the perimeter of the car and then measure, make sure the distance on the left and on the right is the same. Then you then 160 here, 120 here, 160 here, and 120 here. Alright, same goes with the right side, left side, sorry, left side. Then for the back, it would be the same as well. So I have the camera over here, center line, 80 cm, 80 cm. Then you have to measure, see if the um, distance between the perimeter is the same. So in this case, it is. So 160. 120, 160, 120. All right, so once you have done all the marking, it's time to go into the car where we do the calibration. Okay, as you can see from here, the um, bird eye view is a bit on the cuckoo side. The side. The front and the rear seems to be okay just that the bird eye view is a bit on the cuckoo side so let's let's do the calibration all right what we need to do is go to the bird eye bird view go to manual correct okay so we will need to actually adjust the pointer here to our markers so this takes a while Alright, so there's an exploded view on the side here for you to get it a bit more accurate. So there's in total 16 points here for you to actually adjust 4 on each um, camera. So there's 4 cameras, so 4 by 4 is 16. Alright. Okay, so once that is done, let's have a look. Okay, as you can see, it looks much better now. Alright, you get to see the gate. Which is closing. 
you can see from from the tiles itself on the floor you can see that this is more of a from top to bottom rather than sideways all over the place all right obviously it's not perfect the bird eye technology is not perfect in the sense that if you see over here the cropping of the of the pillar is not exactly correct but is something that cannot be corrected uh, with the current technology you can see that the pillar here breaks on this side as well all right but it gives you a good idea on where where the pillar is and if you look at the tiles as well as the marking on the floor it's all where we put it all right that's the most important part and if you see i have actually put the uh, some red color thing over here which will actually appear over here as well as over here i put two so you can see it's actually more of a top down all right and the cameras are still working perfectly fine all right front right sides okay so that's it all right guys this ends the video um, that's how we calibrate the bird eye view of 360 degree top view of the car all right so it's not complicated but it's tedious all right i know um, some of you will be saying there are automatic calibration yes but i would need to actually purchase the calibration uh, cloth the checkered black and white cloth which i do not want to all right because simply because I, I i just don't want to do that all right uh if you have that it will be much easier to actually do the calibration whereby you just need to measure lay down the cloth and then just let the unit um, auto calibrate by itself it should be able to detect the points uh, where it's supposed to actually um, do the marking rather than what you saw over there a tedious a lot of clicking all right sorry to say but they should actually design so that in a way uh, when we press on one direction it should just continuously go rather than uh, um, every single press all right so manufacturer of this if you are looking at this here's a good pointer for you to improve all right other than that um, there's nothing much to actually uh, calibrate Right? Like, like what I mentioned earlier in the video as well, the technology for bird eye is not perfect in the sense that if you have a tall pillar, you might not be able to see it that, uh, that well in the, in the video or in the bird eye view. All right? But you have an idea of where are all those pillars whenever you're turning. All right? Okay, so how long does this calibration take? About, say, 10 minutes. But how long does it take to do all the measurements? About an hour. All right, make sure you have uh, sufficient space uh, on your left, right, back, and front of your car. If you notice, I park my car sideways into the house as well because if I were to pike, park it uh, vertically like how I normally do, I would not have enough space either on the front or on the back. All right, that's why I have to park it on the, uh, vertically sorry horizontally in, into the house and then i still have to open the gate because my house is quite a small house actually um, yeah all right so yeah make sure you have enough space to do the calibration uh this is a cheap uh cheap method to do it instead of buying all the calibration cloth and all you just use masking tape or gorilla tape or whatever tape you want just to make a point over there where you can actually do the marking all right so as usual that's the end of the video if you like this video hit the like with like button if you dislike it you can always hit this but leave us a comment on how we can improve further all right so if you think your friends families neighbors enemies cats dogs pets horse goats can actually benefit from this hit the share button all right and most importantly hit the subscribe because every subscription counts Till next time, see ya! Yeah, so in order to film it in total darkness, the whole car is actually covered with a curtain and some insoflex at the back. Yeah.